Hi, I'm Gordon Waite. I'm about to start a refiguring job on this 12 inch F5 mirror. And before I start, I need to strip off the coating. It's already been aluminized and everything, but uh, the figure on this mirror isn't any good, so the owner wants it uh, rebuilt. So we're going to strip the coating today. This has a little centered spotting on it there, a little ring, so I'm going to peel that guy off first. So the ring comes up. It always leaves behind a residue. So I just use a little dab of uh, acetone. Pull up that little bit of residue. That's all gone. Okay, the chemical I'm going to use for this to do the chemical stripping is uh, ferric chloride. And it comes in the form of what's called etchant solution. And this is a product that's available at Radio Shack. Uh, 16 ounces of it costs maybe oh, 11 or 12 dollars, I suppose. Uh, the really cool thing about this stuff is you can use it over and over. So when I'm done stripping this mirror, I just reclaim it, put it right back in the bottle, and it's ready to do another mirror. Uh, the tidiest way to do this is to just use some tape, run it around the outside of the mirror, and make a dam. Just as easy as that. Go around with my hands to make sure we don't have any holes in the side. And that's pretty much ready to go. Now the one deal with this etchant solution, it it is a bright orange color and it will stain anything that it gets on. So I put down lots of newspapers always when I'm uh, doing a job like this. and Try not to get it to uh, any place it shouldn't be. Uh, so basically, you pour the etchant solution on the mirror. It takes an amazing amount of solution to fill up a mirror. It always surprises me how much. This is a 16 ounce bottle and it's going to take the whole thing. Save the container of course. We're going to pour it back in there later. Now, it depends on the quality and thickness of the coating, how long it will take the solution to eat away the aluminum. And with some coatings, it's nearly instantaneous. And with some coatings, it takes overnight. So you never know what you're going to get <laughs> until you try it. So I'm going to just leave it here. And it's late at night right now, so I'm probably just going to leave it overnight, come back in the morning, and see what's happened. Uh, the stuff isn't evil in particular, uh, you can safe to touch it and stuff like that. It's not a harsh acid, uh, but it eats aluminum. So you don't want to put it anywhere it's going to contact aluminum. Nowhere near aluminum foil, uh, aluminum pipes, uh, nothing aluminum. Uh, pots and pans, no, bad stuff. Don't put an aluminum spoon or fork in it. Uh, nowhere near aluminum. When it gets a big chunk of aluminum, it heats up. So you don't want to uh, have any chance of exposing the chemistry to aluminum except for the coating that we're trying to strip off. So that's all set to go. I'm going to leave it overnight and we'll take a look at it in the morning. Well I checked the mirror after two hours and in two hours it was clear. Uh, so pretty quick, didn't take very long. Now it's time to clean up the mess. Now again we want to salvage and recover all of the liquid. So I have a, a black plastic container here that I'm going to just pick this up and pour it right in there. And the only trick is you have to not spill and not make a mess. Hard to get it up. It's kind of heavy. Okay. And we go. Okay, now that will just go right back into the container and use it on another mirror. Now resist the temptation to just rinse this off with water and run it down the drain because even diluted this can uh, ruin a lot of things. 
So what you use is bicarb or baking soda, which is of course a base, and we're going to use it to neutralize our acid. So I've just got some water here. Need about 16, 20, 24 ounces. Put the bicarb in there. Stir it up. And now the fun. Neutralize our acid. Very cool, huh? <laughs> this is the fun part. Makes good noises. Now what I normally do here is let this sit for a minute to uh, neutralize the acid. I'll take and pour the solution that I'm recovering back into the jar. Then again pour this into the black container to clean it. Use the rest of this uh, kind of a second rinse. And once this has all been neutralized with the uh, baking soda, then you can go ahead and wash everything with soap and water and get it all cleaned up. And uh, I'll come back in a little bit and show you this mirror after it's been all cleaned up. Mirror, it's been all stripped of the aluminum, clear, and ready to go to work refiguring. So, easy process. Again, took about two hours to strip. I oftentimes let it go overnight. Used the ferric chloride that's in the etchant solution. About $12 for a 16-ounce bottle, and you can use it over and over and over again. It's quick, it's easy, it's not dangerous, it's a little messy. Put some newspapers down, and you'll be fine. Thanks a lot.